Your calendar, and the appointments that fill it, allow you to plot the course of your week. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a calendar appointment in GroupWise 2014. I'll also illustrate some of the interesting things you can do with an appointment that you've received. When creating an appointment, GroupWise 2014 allows you to schedule people, locations, like conference rooms, and company resources, like vehicles or projectors. To begin, I click New Appointment on the toolbar. In the To list, I type the first few letters of a recipient's name and press Enter when the name appears. I also add any resources here, in this case, a conference room. And because GroupWise knows it's a room, it automatically adds it in the Place field. Now that I have my attendees and resources for this appointment, I have to set a date and time for it. To see when my attendees are available, I click Busy Search on the Compose View toolbar. When it opens, results are viewable either in a list of everyone's times in the same calendar, or by viewing individual schedules. I select a time that suits everyone, and click OK. Now I add a subject, type a message, and add a signature, then send the appointment. The Compose view closes, and the appointment is automatically accepted into my calendar. It also appears in my Sent Items list, where I can view the properties to see which recipients have accepted or declined it. When an appointment is received, each recipient receives the appointment in their mailbox, and can then choose to accept it into their calendar or decline it. GroupWise 2014 also provides some other options to personalize and categorize the appointments that you receive. From my Mailbox folder, I select a new appointment. In the Quick Viewer, I can use the toolbar to accept or decline the appointment, but I'll open it to get a better view of advanced options for accepting and declining. As you can see, a series of options are displayed across the bottom of the message window. In the Accept menu, I not only have a choice of whether to accept the appointment, but also how, including my Show As status, and which of my calendars I want to accept the appointment into. Modifying the Show As status allows me to choose how my availability will appear during the appointment, such as busy or out of office. In the Decline menu, I can add a comment that will appear in the Appointment Properties in the Sender's Sent Items folder. In addition, I can choose whether to delete the appointment from my mailbox after I decline it. I can also use the Options slide-out to assign a category to the appointment, such as Urgent or Follow-up. This changes the way the appointment displays in my calendar. When I'm finished, I close the Options slide-out and accept the appointment into my main calendar. The appointment appears in my calendar with the coloring for the category that I assigned to it. Your calendar is the foundation of your day, and appointments provide much needed structure when you're collaborating across teams or departments. To learn more about Novell GroupWise, please visit novell.com documentation. Thanks for watching.